What's up guys, Bobby here from SlickText.com and today I'm going to show you how to use and insert a dynamic expiration date into your text messages. Let's check it out. The dynamic expiration date is used to automatically date stamp your text messages so that you know when something will expire. Let's go into the dashboard. On the dashboard, the most common use for a dynamic expiration date is either in a message you're going to send or in an auto reply when somebody joins your list. So the first example I'm going to show you here is on the text word BB Grill, we're going to go into the settings and we are going to insert a dynamic expiration date into this offer here. Now I have two examples I want to show you real quick. Right now, this example, you pretty much don't know when it expires. They just say the name of the business, the offer, and then the action is to tap this link. Okay, so there's no pressure on the subscriber to actually take action because maybe they can use it whenever. However, if you click on the insert button here, expiration date, and simply type in a number, let's say we'll give them seven days to redeem and insert that expiration code, we'll go ahead and insert a placeholder. Now, based on the number inside the squiggly brackets, you can change that so that the date that is stamped will always be either 10 days away from that date that they receive it, or if you want to put a seven in here, it'll be seven days from the date they receive that text message. All right, so let's put a seven in here and save this auto reply. Now let's test it out. I'm gonna bring up my phone on the screen here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to text to join the list. So we're gonna go into our text messages. We're gonna set up a new text message. The number is 888-111. And in the message spot, we're gonna go ahead and put the keyword BB Grill. In just a moment here, I'll receive the auto reply. There it is. And you'll notice that the text message is stamped with a seven day expiration from today's date. The date today is the fourth. So seven plus four is 11. So it date stamps the text message for seven days from when the user receives the message. That's the dynamic expiration date. Now, another spot you may use the dynamic expiration date is on the send a message page. Maybe you want to go ahead and insert a campaign on this page and then make this message date stamped as well dynamically from when you send the message. This is good for scheduled messages or any message that is recurring. Okay, that's another area that you can go ahead and insert a dynamic expiration date. Just go ahead and type in the amount of days you want it to date stamp for and then insert expiration. When our system sends out that message, it'll date stamp that text message for however many days you have inserted in the expiration placeholder. And that's how you use our dynamic expiration date here at Slick Text. Should you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290 or info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you soon.